Hello. So, uh, as you can see, I am recording this video during Christmas time, and actually, it is Christmas Day. Um, and I wanted to share with you my experience with the Ancestry.com DNA kit and the 23andMe DNA kit. So, um, I was born in Puerto Rico. My parents were both born in Puerto Rico, so were my grandparents. Um, and that was the extent of my knowledge of my family history. Um, my grandmother came from a large family, uh, but never talked about her family, her siblings, anything like that. Um, my mother, on the other hand, only had one sibling, my uncle, um, and she also never wanted to talk about, uh, you know, ancestors and all that stuff. All I was told was that I was Puerto Rican and I should be proud of it. <laughs> and I am. I'm very proud of being Puerto Rican. Uh, but, um, of course, you read things and, you know, history books and they tell you that Puerto Rico is just a hodgepodge of people. Um, obviously, there were um, indigenous people at first and then they were invaded um, by Spain. Um, there was also um, uh, slaves brought to the island, etc., etc., and migration and all that during the years. So we're a hodgepodge of people. Um, you can take any two Puerto Ricans and put them side by side, and we look nothing alike. Um, our traits are very, very broad. Um, even in my own family, my grandmother always looked um, like a white lady, <laughs> to put it nicely. Um, she had very light. She has, she has very light skin. Um, light gray eyes she um, she uh, said that in her younger days she had red hair uh, and now it's completely white um, <clears throat> but totally different than what my mother looked like um, my mother and I look very alike um, unfortunately I lost my mom um, several years ago um, but she and I looked a lot alike except that um, I, have, I have very distinct features like my grandmother. Um, and, and then my, you know, obviously my siblings, we all look, all look a little different. So I've always just wondered, um, what is this girl made up of? <laughs> Where did my ancestors come from? Um, I'm a huge history buff. I love uh, hearing about other cultures and hearing about their history and I think it's neat when people can like trace their family tree and know like everything about their family I don't have that um so now that I have grandchildren um I wanted to be able to sit down with them one day and just tell them like look this is where you're from this is where your family is from and you should be proud and you should go and explore and learn about all these different cultures um, and right now I can't do that. All I can say is, uh, grandma was born on an island in the Caribbean and that's all I know. <laughs> so, um, around, uh, I guess it was around the Thanksgiving time last month, um, with the cyber sales and all that, I saw that the two test kits were on sale. They were like 50% off. So I said, you know what? I think this, it's time. It's time. I can't say it's too expensive or whatever. I think part of me was just afraid to do it. Um, but I went ahead and ordered it and I said, okay, I'm gonna order this for myself. This is my, my Christmas gift to myself this year. So I have some notes because I had to write down um, the timing of everything. Um, so I ordered, and I ordered these on Amazon. They had the 50% off sale. I'm not sure if it was uh, the same price on their websites or not, so I'm sorry. Um, but I did order on November 27th. I received the two test kits the same day on the 29th. Um, and I immediately opened them and I immediately registered them and did my spit in the tube thing and followed the direction. I'm very OCD and I, I must have read the directions 10 times because I wanted to make sure I didn't mess it up. <laughs> But uh, basically the kits come with a barcode or with a number and you have to register your kit first. Uh, make sure you do that first. 
and um, then follow the directions. Um, the amount of spit was not very much. The tubes look like they're big, but that's not how much you have to spit. The, it's probably like, an, I don't know. I'm terrible with measurements. An inch, two inches of spit. <laughs> wow, this is what I'm talking about on Christmas morning. Anyway, um, so did the spit thing. They tell you not to eat or drink for 30 minutes before you do the test. Uh, so that's also important. Um, and then you, you close it, you shake it up. There's like a solution in there that stabilizes your, your DNA, your sample, so that um, it's protected while it's being shipped. And um, they give you a box and a late and a shipping label to send it out. So there's no excuse, right? Um, and I was like, paranoid. I was like, okay, I did it. Let's put it, let's package it. Let's go take it to the mailbox. So the same day I took it to the mailbox. So that was November 29th. <laughs> um, okay. So then you get emails along the way. They, they both have um, apps for your phones. They both have Android and um, iOS apps. So I have the apps on my phone and the apps would notify me along the way when my sample was received, when it was extracted, when it was being analyzed. Um, it was really reassuring because I was like, you know, my sample's not out there somewhere <laughs> lost. But um, Ancestry.com said they received mine on December 4th. So five or six days later. Um, 23andMe received it on December 7th, so pretty close. Um, and then I received my Ancestry.com results first. Those were on December 23rd. Um, so I got the email that my results were in. The first thing I did, <laughs> first thing I did was scream for my husband because I kind of needed someone next to me, I don't know. I, I thought I was gonna faint or lose it, but I was like, you, you've you gotta be here with me while I open this. So um, so I opened the results and I immediately started to cry. Um, I was very surprised by how much of a reaction I got from my results. Um, obviously the results don't change who I am as a person today but just seeing in black and white uh, what ancestry I have, what history I have was overwhelming. Um, I didn't have any real expectations um, other than what I've heard Puerto Ricans are made up of, uh, you know, indigenous, some, Span some Spanish, some African. I really didn't know. Um, because I don't know much about my my actual grandparents and um, but yeah it was very very emotional I remember uh, I posted it on Facebook uh, that I had gotten the results and I was in tears and I was just so overcome with emotion I called my best friend Derek to share the results with him as well uh, I was just uh, I was just elated and it felt a huge weight lifted. Um, and it sounds odd, but <laughs> um, just not knowing for so long and then to finally know, like boom, <laughs> was overwhelming. So I will share those results with you in a second. But I got this morning, Christmas morning, I got the notification from 23andMe that my results were ready from then. And I was surprised because um, in the app, they had indicated I wouldn't get them till January sometime. So obviously they were working quickly. <laughs> so really from the time that I ordered it to the time that I got my results, it's only a month. Um, so really quick, um, they tell you when you, when you order it that the results can take, you know, six to eight weeks. I guess it depends on how many they have to process and... Um, whether your sample is okay and all that kind of stuff that determines it. Um, but yeah, I was shocked that they both came in within two days of each other. So I am, I have taken screenshots of the, the, uh, what do they call it? 
the ethnicity breakdown and ethnicity estimate is what they call it. Um, there's a lot of other things that are provided. I paid for the traits on both of them. And what that gives you is um, for the 23andMe, it, it will give you propensities in your DNA for different um, carrier genes, um, you know, diseases, your health traits, stuff like that. Um, and um, the Ancestry.com sort of does that. It's a little bit less uh, in detail. I think the Ancestry.com one is more for you to connect with relatives and, you know, to be able to build that family tree um, than the 23andMe. The 23andMe is where I geek out. Um, it has tons of information. I still haven't read it all, um, but uh, it also gives you the option of downloading your raw data, which you can use in other, other places. There are other services available. Uh, online where you can upload your raw data and it gives you a lot more information about your DNA um, which I may look into uh, only because I do have a lot of food allergies I have very strange um, issue health issues um, which I was hoping this would help me like start to navigate um, so the one thing I can say is um, as you probably know if you follow my channel i am allergic to gluten and uh, wheat and that was something that came up in my dna so uh, it is something that's genetic um which is very interesting so that helps me um to start to navigate that kind of thing um, so yeah let me get to my results or this is going to be a very long video <laughs> So um, I'll put the pictures here. The first one I'll put up is my Ancestry.com. So according to Ancestry.com, I am 22% from Spain. Uh, that I wasn't too shocked about. Well, I was. I knew I had Spain, indigenous, and, and African in me. I had, that was a guess. But the amount of Spanish really, uh, really shocked me. Also, uh, the indigenous, Puerto Rico, 16%, I think is a huge uh, amount. I had no idea that it was that high. 13% uh, Portuguese, that one totally turned me upside down. I was like, Portuguese, really? <laughs> uh, I guess it makes sense, you know, they're close in proximity. Um, so yeah, and then French, 11%, which also I had not expected. Uh, just those four had my head spinning. I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> but uh, that's amazing. And of course, there is the African nations uh, there and England, Northwestern Europe, Nigeria, and, and you can read it. It goes on and on and on. Uh, surprisingly, uh, Jewish and Swedish are on there uh italian uh, and irish so i found out today through my 23andme results that i have a great grandfather that was irish uh it was on my grandmother's side uh so that's really really interesting um which explains her traits obviously and uh yeah I, i'm still in shock about that one so as you can see, I'm a big mix of a lot of wonderful, beautiful people, and I am so proud. Uh, and I thought, that just seeing this, I was I was floored, and I was I was so happy uh, to finally know all this. Uh, but until I got my 23andMe results, which uh, I'll post right now. So the 23andMe results uh, were even more dramatic. Uh, they have me as European, 58.6%, uh, which is huge. That's the majority of my genes and my DNA is European. Um, and then they combine Spanish and Portuguese. Uh, so that came up to 56.7%. And um, if you, in the website, they allow you to, in, in the app, I'm sure they do too, you can click on each of those categories and it breaks it down by region. So as you can see from the list, 
Andalusia is where uh, I am predominantly from. Um, and then there's other categories under that. Um, the Jewish uh, is again on this list. Uh, so is the African. So I'm 11.5% West African, which is amazing. Um, in the Ancestry.com one, it breaks it down separately. So I guess if you add all those up, it, it comes close to that. They're, um, they're measured differently from, I noticed from the two different companies, um, but they're very similar. Um, Nigerian, which I had in the other, in the Ancestry.com one is there. Uh, Congolese uh, is, is there which I am surprised. <laughs> well, actually, it's it's 7% on my Ancestry.com one as well. Um, but this one breaks it down even further. And then I have East Asian and Native American, 18%. In the Ancestry.com one, it was uh, 16%. So again, very, very similar. Um, and then there's 1.5% of um, Northern African, West Asian, and then there's going to also be trace amounts of other DNA. Um, and from what I understand, this means that there's parts of your DNA that are very similar to a lot of people in a lot of different places. So they just kind of categorize them this way until um, the data is more accurate. Um, so from what I understand from other people that have done this, um, over time, your data will change. Um, as more people begin to take the tests and submit their data and their DNA, um, this gets more and more accurate. Um, so I'm excited to see where this takes me. Um, both companies um, allow you to see other people that are related to you by DNA, which is very cool. The 23andMe was very detailed about that. Um, I have already found second cousins uh, that I didn't know about. Uh, I don't think I know any second cousins in my life. I've only known my first cousins. So that's very exciting. And uh, I can't wait to see how this changes over time. And uh, I may do a follow-up video in a few months, maybe six months from now, maybe in a year, uh, to let you know what has changed. So thank you so much for indulging me and listening to my rant, <laughs> my rant, my excitement. Um, this is by far the best Christmas gift I've ever given myself. Um, I have so much more to read and um, look after. Uh, with this information, um, I wish that my mother was here so that I could share this with her. She would have been very proud um, of all of this. And I know somewhere she's listening and uh, maybe feeling proud for me, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I really wanted to share this with you so that you could see what the experience was like and um, how both companies compared in the way that they handle the samples and the way they report the information. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me on this Christmas uh, with this information. Uh, and I have so many friends that are from these countries. Uh, so in my heart, I have a lot more cousins than they, than they say. <laughs> so I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas with your families. Uh, enjoy each other uh, while you still can. Life is so incredibly short um, and it's incredibly bountiful. So I wish that for each and every one of you. Thank you and Merry Christmas.